someone's listening and they're like, oh, if she was crying after that sounds so negative. Like that's, that's such a beautiful thing, right? We like crying is the best release, like just having a good cry, for, especially one that lasts that long. Uh, that's Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and, and so much when it, when it comes to, um, to sex and sexual trauma, um, we, we have so much shame and guilt that we carry around with that, you know, f- no matter who you are, I think there's very few of us who are really so sexually empowered that we have no shame and no guilt around how we uh, feel pleasure or how we experience pleasure during sex and whether that's, you know, wherever that's come up in your life. So a lot of people really hold on to that. And um, and I've had those kind of releases myself um, and uh, being able to, yeah, just just let go of of those uh, emotions and thoughts and feelings that have been, you know, carried around for for many years in the body. It's it's very cathartic to be able to just cry and let that all go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and often when you go through sexual abuse too, like you don't even know you're holding on to things, right? Or you're behaving in ways that you don't even tie back to it or you're you have a lens or you're thinking in ways that you don't even tie back to it so it's it's so good to reconnect with yourself on every different level right not even just on the physical 